In this video, we would talk about basic concept of Angular through interview question. So let's start. First question, what is Angular? Angular is a client side framework based on TypeScript and produces single page application. In the previous video, we had talked about overview of Angular. In the top right corner, you can see the link for that video. Moving to next question. Why you should go for a single page application? In case of single page application, it is very fast in render of view because direct compilation or transpilation it would lead to JavaScript and JavaScript is very fast for the browser. Another point is, along with very fast experience or rendering of view, it also gives rich user experience in terms of layout of UI, design of UI, interactions with the UI. Moving to next question. What is use of main.ts? In Angular, main.ts is used for bootstrapping of Angular application. If you remember Spring Boot, there also we bootstrap our main application. Here also in Angular, we bootstrap our main application. If you see the content of main.ts and if you see the highlighted section, you would find that inside platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap module, we are passing root module of angular that is app module and this platform browser dynamic means we are bootstrapping our angular application to be compatible with browser environment moving to next question how you create a project in angular in order to create project in angular you would need to fire the command ng new project name. So here the project name is employee hyphen dashboard. And once you fire the command, what happens behind the scene or have you understand when you fire this command, what is going to happen? When you fire the command ng new employee hyphen dashboard, the first thing you would see in terminal is it would ask to add routing to angular if you select yes then it would ask for styling of your angular project by default css is the default styling other styling used is scss sass lss and stylus once you selected this then you can see Inside the root folder employee hyphen dashboard different dot json files example here you can see angular.json packet.json tsconfig.json and main.ts also you can see index.html you can see and some component files one module files routing files and at the last you will see the corresponding library required for npm is going to be installed in your root project so here the root project is employee hyphen dashboard the name you passed in the command this is the default project structure so in order to summarize when you fire the command a new workspace with root folder name employee hyphen dashboard or the project name that you pass is going to be built and an SRC folder you can see highlighted here and inside SRC folder we usually write code for UI interaction you can also say backend codes or the business logic better way then backend service calls backend service calls means the backend API calls from the UI environment specific API URLs Similarly, as we have profiles in Spring Boot, we also have profiles in Angular application. Index.html, 
main.ts. Apart from this src folder, you would also going to see an e2e folder for end-to-end -end testing of Angular applications, related configuration files, example package.json, related library, example node underscore modules. Moving to next question, how would you run project in Angular? In order to run project, you need to fire ng serve. Now, when you fire this command, you need to manually type the URL for opening of the Angular application. If you want to auto open the Angular application in the browser, you need to fire ng serve hyphen hyphen open. A sample example is shown to you. So here you can see the root folder name employee hyphen dashboard you can see similarly you can see the localhost 4200 4200 is the default port that is run by the angular application if you look at the terminal if you fire this command some dot js transpilation is happening so in order to summarize you can say build the application whenever you fire the command after building of application, start the application on default port of 4200 and once there is change in source file, you would need to rebuild the application. Now this rebuilding of application, you can compare with actuator in Spring Boot. Actuator in Spring Boot also provide whenever you change the .java file source, auto build of the application happens and Spring Boot application auto starts. Moving to next question. What is component in Angular? Component in Angular is basically basic building blocks. Now here understand the meaning of basic building blocks. In any UI application, what are the things you basically do? You display the data, you listen to user input either through text box, radio button, check box or any other means and depending upon the action selected, you perform some action. Now all of these three functions are basically going to be done through components in Angular and this is why it is called basic building blocks. A sample example of component is shown here. So here you can see we have app.component app.component.html, app.component.ts, app.component.spec.ts. Moving to next question. How you create component in Angular? In order to create component in Angular, you need to fire ng generate component and the name of the component. So here is address. Instead of generate, you can put g instead of component you can put c so you can also fire ng g c address once you fire this command in the terminal you can see an html file where you put the representational code or ui code you can say a css file where you put styling code and a test file where you put unit testing of business logic for example here you can see the four files app.component.css that is CSS file app.component.html and HTML file app.component.ts. Now this highlighted part is actually a TypeScript. .ts stands for TypeScript and this is where you put all the business logic related to listening of user input and taking the corresponding action. Last is app.component.spec.ts. This is the test file. Now, this is the terminal. You can see I fired the command nggc and I am building the component in a view folder. So I am fired slash view slash address. And once the component is generated, you can see at the last an update to app.module.ts is going to happen. Moving to next question. 
how you create service in angular in order to create service you need to fire ng generate service address similarly as previous in the sort form you can write ng g as address address is the service name a sample example you can see here i have fired the command ng g as again i am putting the address service in a specific folder so you can see the folder structure is going to be core then service then address and the address service whenever you create a service it is not going to update app.module.ts so a basic difference between component and service creation you can also remember whenever you create the component app.module.ts is going to be updated whenever you create the service app.module.ts is not going to be updated moving to next question how to call backend service from angular in order to call backend service you first need to import http clients and http headers once you import http client and http headers then you need to set the content type inject the http client into private variable for use use this private variable to call different http methods like get like post and then subscribe the method to receive the response if you look at a few past video we have talked about reactive programming there we have talked about rx js library in angular in order to subscribe you need to import rx js library also and that library provide you subscribe method if you look at a sample example here you can see that the second line import http client and i am importing from angular common http next is you setting the basic headers so here you can see the content type i am setting as application slash json char set as utf8 and then i am injecting the http client to a private variable through constructor and using those private variable to call a get method and if you see the base url i am passing the basic headers are passing and the response type as json now this get address method i can use in my dot ts file remember right in the type script file where we put the business logic so i again inject this address service via constructor in that particular type script file and then call this method moving to next question where do we put different api urls specific to different environments remember that in spring boot we have different application specific profiles for example for deb we have application hyphen deb for prod we have application hyphen prod similarly in angular also we have a specific folder called environment and inside this environment folder we create different specific environment files and the corresponding api urls we put in those files a sample example could be so here if you see inside environment folder we have environment.ts for local environment.dev.ts for dev prod then qa or you can say stage and if you see the content of environment.ts then this address right this address we can use in our services and if we use environment.address we will get the value http localhost 8080 similarly for dev we can put the corresponding url moving to next question difference between constructor and ng on it if you look at difference between constructor and ng on it then the first point you can say is constructor should be used for injection of dependent component 
it should not be used for calling of backend service. In case of ng on it, it should be used to load data while page is loading the first time or initialize any parameters or any value. It should be used for variable initialization. Moving to next question. What are lifecycle hooks in Angular? Lifecycle hooks are basically methods in Angular. These methods are called to take appropriate actions on event during lifecycle of component or directive in Angular. Constructor is the first call going to happen. After constructor, ng on changes is going to be called and then ng on it and ng do check is called. Then ng after content int, ng after content checked, then ng after view int, ng after view checked is called. And at last ng on destroy is called. So all of this method that you see after a constructor are called lifecycle hook method. And this is also right in the previous example you see constructor is called first and then ng on it is called. Moving to next question. What is routing in Angular? Routing means navigation to other view or display page. In Angular, routing let us navigate to corresponding view page whenever user clicks on a particular link or a particular button you can say in angular this is done through app hyphen routing dot module dot ts and if you look at the content of app hyphen routing dot module dot ts the point to look here is this constant routes equal to routes and if you see the path the value of path is address that means whenever user clicks link having slash address at the end it is going to load a component and which component address component so this is how a page view is going to display whenever a particular link is going to be clicked this was all about basic interview questions or you can say basic concepts of angular through interview questions stay tuned and subscribe for more upcoming videos